Welcome you all. In this video, we are going to talk about non-parameterized super calling statement or super calling statement without having any parameter in it. So let's get started. So I have said you guys that super calling statement to be used in the case of inheritance and non-parameterized super calling statement to be used in the case of inheritance and constructor guys before i jump into the program i want to make you guys understand what exactly is non parameterized super calling statement now i know that this is clear to you that where exactly super calling statement to be used so you know that super calling statement to be used in the case of inheritance and also you know that super calling statement to be used in the case of constructor so in short your super calling statement is a statement which is to be used in the case of inheritance and constructor to be precisely super calling statement is used to call from subclass constructor to the immediate superclass constructor so how do you call from subclass constructor to the immediate superclass constructor you will call it with super calling statement without having any parameter in it if you want to call it with super calling statement in case of non parameterized if you write the super calling statement explicitly then compiler will not write implicitly but in case you write the super calling statement explicitly means you will write it in the program your super calling statement will be visible in the program that time your compiler will no need to write the super calling statement if you guys are not understanding anything don't get worry when i will write the whole program you guys will understand it perfectly let's say you are having a class called as class 1 in which you have a constructor also which is also one what it is trying to do is it is trying to print system.out.println it is trying to print hello simple very simple it is one class and it is having a one constructor what is constructor it is already known to you in case you have any doubt watch that video and please come to this video and now you have another class which is my class 2 which inherit this class so i will write extend 1 so this is also having a constructor so name of the constructor will be 2 it is trying to print system.out.println hi h triple i hi and now you have one more class which is class 3 which inherit your class 2 so extend 2 so it is also having one constructor that is 3 what it is trying to do it is trying to print by now you are having a main method let's say to have a main method you have a class so your class name is let's say manish and inside that class you have a main method public static void main so you know that your class 2 is inheriting the property of your class 1 and your class 3 is inheriting the property of your class 2 so you know that if i just try to create an object of my class 3 i can call all the method because class 3 is inheriting the property from my class 2 and class 2 is inheriting the property from my class 1 so what, what what i will do here is i will create an object of my class 3 to to call this particular constructor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an object for this particular class which is my class 3 so new 3 once i do this execution will start taking place from this constructor it will call invoke this particular constructor but here is a twist why there is a twist i have already said you in the previous part of the video that if you will not mention the super calling statement explicitly means if you don't write super calling statement here that is called as explicitly explicitly something which you write it so you have not mentioned it right so if you don't write it then compiler itself will write it your compiler itself will write super calling statement with no parameter in it so in the case of my inheritance and constructor wherever you see inheritance and constructor and to call from subclass constructor to the immediate superclass constructor you need super calling statement so if you don't write it your compiler itself will write it so if you write it or you don't write it both the meaning is same so if we call this trick particular method don't think that your by will get executed no if you write it immediately 
it will call its immediate superclass constructor. So it will call this particular constructor. If you don't write it, it will call immediately this particular constructor. Immediate superclass constructor. In case you write this super calling statement here, that time also it will call immediate superclass constructor. How you will identify this? So always remember guys, whenever you see any program with inheritance concept and constructor concept, and your none of the constructor are having any parameter you understand that if you call one method immediately it will call it super constructor it will invoke its super constructor so no matter you write here or you don't write it no matter you write this super calling statement or you don't write it if you write it or you don't write it it gonna call this particular constructor once your execution come to this place don't think that your high will get executed no it will immediately call its super calling statement which is your one after reaching here it will start printing hello after that it will print hi and after that it will print pi always remember even though i write it here super or if i don't write it both has same meaning i have tried my best to explain to you guys about non-parameterized super calling statement hope this is useful now let's actually compile and execute a program to understand this program wisely so guys, this is a program I've written for you to make you guys understand about super calling statement in non-parameterized constructor. So if you see here, I have created a class called as Suma and then I have created a class called as Mona, which extends my Soma class. And then I have created a class called as Noma, which extends my Mona class, this one. And finally, I have created a class 16, which is here. So if you see here, I have created three class one, two and three my noma extends mona class and my mona class extends my soma class so if you see here i have one class called as class 16 in which i have a main method so execution will start from here public static void main so what i will do here is i will create an object for this particular class to call this particular constructor so i have created an object for this particular class noma so my execution will start from this noma and immediately it will come here since i have not mentioned here super calling statement what will happen compiler itself will write here super calling statement don't think that it will sprint by here because you know that you, this program is a combination of your inheritance that is extend is a term which shows that this this particular program is your inheritance program and you see here each classes is a constructor each classes are having constructor so and none of my constructor are having any parameter in it so by this i will get to know that this particular program is my super calling statement in non-parameterized constructor topic by this you will visualize this so once your execution will come here before printing source by compiler itself will write here super calling statement and it will call its super class constructor and once it call here before printing hi if you're not writing explicitly compiler itself will write super calling statement with no parameter and it will indirectly call it will directly call my suma constructor its super class constructor and then the finally execution will be hello then hi and then bye so guys when you are learning java at starting it will be a little tricky to understand each and everything but in case you are having a doubt watch this video again and again you will understand this so i'm now i'm trying to compile and interpreting this program so i'm going to the location of the file where i have saved my file and after going there i'm trying to compile the file once compilation is done i will do interpretation and that's it so once your execution came to noma constructor your by didn't get executed but it called its super class constructor mona where hi didn't get executed it immediately called its soma constructor where it printed hello if you see here hello got printed and then it printed hi and then it printed by so this is how it works hope this video was understandable guys in case you need this program send a mail to me share your mail id to my mail id 
I will send this file to you so that you can compile and interpret this program in your system. Thank you. Guys, I hope this video was useful. If you think yes, give a thumbs up to this video, subscribe to my channel Software Testing by MKT and please share this video with your needy friends. In case you have any doubt, list out all your doubt in the comment section. I will be answering.